Just like brewing your favorite drinks, maintaining the Bobula is a snap. Thanks to a series of plain text alerts that appear on the screen, the machine is completely unambiguous when it comes to telling you what needs your attention. During operation, you will see a number of alerts ranging from things like, for instance, refilling the water reservoir, refilling the bean hopper, emptying the dreg drawer or spent pucks, inserting the brew group if it hasn't been reinserted properly, closing the front door assembly, and also descaling your machine. The Bobula will also let you know if you need to replace the water filter with an alert on the front of the machine showing you the total percentage left of the filter's capacity. Now that we've covered some of the alerts that you're going to see, let's take a look at how we can address some of the issues with the Bobula. So to open the machine actually, on the left side there's a little button here which allows us to swing the front open. Now, one thing I want to get to though first is the intern or the front drip tray, actually. There's an internal drip tray that you'll see in just a second. But this here lifts off, and this is our drip tray assembly. So it doesn't have an alert that lets you know to empty this, but instead we have a plastic float. So as this tray fills up, that float will begin to bob and rise inside the tray. So it can hold quite a bit of water. But once you see it bobbing like this, you really want to get that emptied out. So my advice would be any time that we open up the machine to empty, say, the drag drawer or that we are refilling the water reservoir, you'll want to empty this drip tray. And this is a fairly self-contained piece as well. So as long as you keep, say, a cup underneath those spouts, basically what you can do is you can actually prevent water from ever flowing in here because the rest of it is caught in the inside of the machine. So. You can see we've got a lot of space here, and then this is actually very nice. It's held on magnetically, so it's a good uh, fit. We'll slide that out of the way, though, and we'll push this. I'll use my little wand here as a bit of a door handle, and you can see the inside of the machine. So right here, this is our drag drawer, and this is the internal drip tray as well. So the drag drawer is empty because I just emptied it off screen, but there is coffee that collects in here from your spent pucks. If it's the very first time you're using your machine, you may find that the consistency of your pucks is not going to be as cohesive as they will be later. So you can definitely give this a rinse in the sink to help with that. But underneath that, you can see that there is water that's in here as well. So on many Gaja machines, the drip trays will run back the full length of the machine. But in this case, we actually have a dedicated one that goes right under the group. So you'll want to just make sure that you're emptying this as well as emptying that drag drawer. Now, on the inside of the machine, there we go, we also have our brew unit. So the brew unit is where our coffee is compacted and brewed. Our grinder or the bypass dispenses it through this little chute into here, and then it's compacted into a cup. So in order to maintain this, you'll want to remove it once a week. And to do that, we'll go ahead and push this tab, and it slides right on out. So you can see coffee collects on the chute, which leads into the actual brewing chamber. We have our ejection ramp, which goes into the dreg drawer. We have the shower screen. All these areas can collect coffee. And what you want to do is simply take it to the sink on a weekly basis and rinse everything off until there's no coffee on there. That's where that little brush could also help. But one thing to note is that you don't want to use towels like paper towels or cloth towels because those fibers can collect on here and you really don't want to do that. So simply wash it off and then let it air dry overnight before putting it back in the machine. Um, you can also see there are the tracks where certain parts of the brew unit actually slide. That's where you would apply that brew group lubricant. Now, to get it back into the machine, we'll simply line up our corners here with these two tracks. And it's a little trickier when I'm at an angle here, but you'll go ahead and push that in. And you'll know that you've successfully reinserted the group when you can no longer remove it simply by pulling on it, and you'll be required to press the push tab again. Now, to finish reassembling the rest of the machine, we'll simply put everything back in. Hopefully not as full on your machine at home as mine is, and then you can close the door. And if you did not properly reinsert the group, as you saw in our little alert montage, we would be alerted by the machine. But after that, you can simply go right on ahead, set your drip tray back on, give it a nice wipe for posterity, and you're good to go.
And that's it for the Gaja Bobula. This is a terrific machine with a lot of incredible features. I'm Nick, and thank you so much for watching.